Hi, this is Dan from Follett. If you have one of our 7 or 15 series dispensers, you're definitely going to need to clean and sanitize the machine before putting it back in service. But before we do that, we're going to inspect five things, and it's only going to take a couple of minutes. Let's look at the evaporator, the water reservoir, the drain and feed tube, the hopper, and the condenser. So let's open the machine up. We're going to first take off the front panel. And we're going to disconnect the water line and the cable going up to the user interface. Top cover has our cleaning and sanitizing instructions underneath. We're going to take off the side panels. Now as we drain water out of the machine, as we do that, we're going to look to see if we have any biofilm or gunk coming out of there. If we do, we're probably going to need to clean our water reservoir, but let's look at the different connections on the machine. So our drain and feed tube is connected to the drain of the ice hopper. By a tube, we've got a pinch clamp. We just push up and down on that to separate that and pull the tube off. Now it attaches to the outlet of the water reservoir. We're going to push down to remove that and pull out to pull that off of the inlet to the evaporator. Now this guy, we're going to want to you know, thoroughly clean him. We're going to use our Safe Clean Plus ice machine cleaner and sanitizer. Uh, this is an 8 ounce bottle. We're going to use one of those with one gallon of hot water. We can soak that in the solution. This is a coffee urn brush that I got from a restaurant supply store. It works great for getting down into the half inch ID of this hose. And we're going to go all through this, through all of the, the different passageways where it connects up to the, to the evaporator and the uh, water reservoir. So we're going to use an inspection mirror and a flashlight and I'm going to look up into the inlet of the evaporator and I should actually see the back end of the auger. Okay, we're looking for scale, any kind of scale buildup in here. Now here we're going to look up into the water reservoir. I can see the white float that's inside the reservoir. We're looking for any kind of biofilm that might be in there. And also we're going to look at the outlet from the ice hopper. And again, we're looking for any kind of scale or biofilm. Now, one other thing we're going to look at in the hopper here is looking to see if we have any kind of a scale film around on there. That might suggest that we need to clean the machine more often. Now, before we go ahead and do the normal cleaning and sanitizing, we're going to reattach our drain and feed tube. And if you've got several machines that you're putting back into service, it might be a little quicker. Get yourself a couple of spare drain and feed tubes, okay? 0095 7720 is the part number. Might make things a little bit quicker than uh, cleaning the hoses while you're, while you're doing the rest of this. Now when we go ahead and go to fill up our cleaning solution. Okay, we're putting our, our cap onto the outlet of the ice dispense, and then we would be filling up our machine, completely submerging the whole machine um, with our, our cleaning sol sanitizing solution. And when we do this, we're also going to test to see, check to see if we have any kind of leaks. Okay, we're going to make sure you know that, that those are all uh, good and tight on those connections. Now for cleaning and sanitizing a 7 series machine, you're going to use three 8 ounce bottles of Safe Clean Plus 
uh, sanitizing cleaner along with three gallons of hot water. If this happened to be a 15 series machine, it's double that. So it's going to be six bottles of Safe Clean Plus along with six gallons of hot water. Uh, part number here for a case of that solution. Now once you fill this up and you're letting it soak, while you're doing that, we can check the condenser on the right hand side. We can vacuum that off and clean it up. Okay, make sure that everything is good, clean, sanitized, uh, descaled, and, uh, and, and a good clean machine before you put it back to service. Thank you very much.